Hey guys, and welcome to the next part of the tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to go over making it so that when you face a direction and move that way and it turns your actor, it doesn't just kind of rotate weirdly. You'll actually look that direction and play an animation. So to start, we're going to make an a uh, blend space. So we're going to right click, animation, blend space. And this one is a full blend space, not a blend space 1D like we made last time. This one's 2D. So we'll name it BS Box Full Locomotion. We'll open this up, and we're going to do we're going to expand the horizontal and vertical axis, and we're going to name the horizontal axis direction, and we're going to make it negative uh, 180 to 180, and the interpolation time to 0.25, and then for vertical axis we're going to name that speed, and it'll be 0 to 400, and we'll make that 0.25 as well for the interpolation time. Now to start we'll drag in our idle, and we'll put that at the whoops, put that at the uh, bottom, right here. And then what we're going to do is drag, we're going to type turn, and we're going to drag in turn left, turn right, and all of these in here. Now by default you can't drag these in; it'll drag in red. And the reason for that is in the Fox Kit it's set to uh, additive by default. So I already changed these. If if you can't drag it in your blend space an animation in your blend space, just open the animation up and go to the additive settings and change the additive type to no additive. So I'll just open our blend space again, and we're going to add. Turn right to the middle point here, and turn right 180 to the ends, and we're just going to do that for uh, every three sections. And we'll do the same thing for left over here. Turn left turns 90 degrees, and turn left 180 turns 180 degrees, of course, so that matches up with our uh, inputs. And we'll also do forward, so we'll do run forward at the top and walk forward right here. File, save all. Now we're going to open our animation blueprint and we're going to drag in our Fox Bull locomotion and connect that, connect speed. As you can see we need a direction so we'll drag off that and promote it to a variable and call it direction. Then go to our event graph and off get velocity we're going to do calculate direction and then we will connect the from the Fox we'll do get actor rotation connect that there and then we need to do uh, off our um, calculate direction we're going to set direction but we're gonna actually uh, we're going to drag off direction here and we're gonna type select select float and we're gonna check if our vector length of our if our speed sorry is greater than four and if it is we're gonna get the direction value otherwise we want to return zero the reason for this is because by default this calculate direction node returns like negative 90 when you're not moving or something like that so we just want to do that file save all now let's see how this works so we'll look this way turn and our fox turns yay and as you can see if we move around he turns with our uh, with our camera all right so that works pretty well so thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next video where we'll cover jumping, and we'll cover things like AI and uh, more features. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.